Mm. I love my coffee. Welcome to 2017 and to Just Julie, our first vlog of the year. And I want to talk about perfection. I have an issue with people seeking perfection. It's not a bad thing, but the problem is very often we don't do things because we're waiting for the exact right moment. We're waiting for the exact right opportunity to come along. We're waiting to be good enough and worthy enough to do something. And that's not right. Life is so precious and we have life today. So we have to get to living and doing our best every single day, not seeking some idea of the perfect time or the perfect opportunity or being the perfect self and ready to take the next move. From a religious perspective, let's talk about the word saved and people who constantly tell people I'm saved. It's a good thing to accept the Lord and to live a good life. However, there's an impression it creates that some people are good and some people are not as good. And it makes others feel unworthy and keeps them away from connecting with God, thinking, maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Maybe I'll read the Bible tomorrow. I'm still so unclean. I still have so many problems. Maybe I'll come to God tomorrow. But the truth is, He saved you already. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what your failures are. It doesn't matter what mistakes you've made. If you seek Him, you will find Him. And once you seek Him and find Him, you have accepted the salvation that's already there for you. So in essence, we are all saved and none of us really can claim to be better than any other. In terms of work, opportunity, career, it's also a really big problem to keep waiting till you're perfectly prepared or the perfect opportunity or the perfect amount of finances that you need to do something. What you need to start to do is understand that right where you are with what you have, you can start. It may be much smaller than what you had envisaged or what you dream about, but start small and build up. You will find that a lot of successful people today built their empires or their businesses, built their careers through small steps. It's very unusual to find someone who just leapt forward. So start where you are with what you have. Nothing is too little. Nothing is too small. Get started. My other issue with the word perfection is it implies that you always get things right. You never fail. And a lot of people hate the word failure. I've come to embrace failure. There is no teacher as powerful, as potent as failure. Failure will show you repeatedly what you should not do and take you onto the right path. If you never fail, it's very hard to learn. If you don't face challenges, it's difficult to be prepared for what is an incredibly tough world. And so failures you will meet and that's okay. Starting where you are and being prepared mentally to say, look, I know I will meet failure along the way, but I will fix the things that go wrong and my path and my journey to growth will continue. Be bold, be brave, be courageous. Know that whoever you are, with whatever flaws you think you have or others may think you have, you are good enough. You were created as you with the gifts, the passion that you have. And that was intentional. So sit back for a moment and think, this is who I am. If these are my circumstances, if these are my dreams, how can I start even in a small way today to walk the path towards my ideal life? You are good enough, even with your flaws. List your flaws, work on those flaws, make yourself as perfect as you can be. But as I said, be wary of that word because perfection is not what we should be looking for. We should go through the journey, living as good a life as we can possibly live, searching for God and in searching for Him, He will find you and knowing He created you with all your flaws. 
and he loves you with all your flaws and all you have to do is make a decision to make the best of your situation to try to live a good life and to seek him because that's what makes him love you back even more not perfection but you with all your mistakes and errors seeking him honestly and openly so have a great 2017 and remember always be bold be you move forward don't wait for perfect situations and seek him i promise if you do you will find him blessings